Okay, hi, and welcome to looking at procedures in Python. So, first thing we're going to do, this is about splitting our program up into little chunks so that we can re reuse them again and again. Now, we're going to make a quite simple program that's going to have three subroutines, one to get two numbers from the user, one to get, one to add the numbers together, and one to display them. So, let's start off with the first one, which is going to get the input. So you'll see we've got a new command there called def, that stands for define. And then what we're going to do is just ask the user to declare, uh, sorry, to input his their two users, uh, their two numbers. So int input, please enter number one. And close that and close that. Oops, sorry. Press speech mark up. Okay. And we'll just copy that down and change that to value two. Okay, now we're second um, subroutine is going to add numbers together and that will add these things called val1 and val2 together and store it in a thing called answer, a variable called answer. So val1 plus val2 and then our last subroutine is going to display and all that's going to do is print the answer is Oops. Okay. sorry for that typing now the answer is and it need to be a string version of answer okay now what we're going to need to do though is we're going to define a little main subroutine and this is going to be what calls our um, program. So this calls all of our other procedures. So, but this isn't complete because at the minute, even if we call these things, so if we tell it we want to do get input, and then we want it to run our add numbers, and, and then we want it to display, Okay, and then we just call our main subroutine. Okay, so this actually executes. This executes our program. So if I go and run that program just now, that works okay. Look, three and four, but then it dies because it says val1 is not defined. Because when it gets to here, it doesn't know what val1 are because val1 and val2 up here are defined as what we call local variables. Okay. A local variable means that it can only be accessed in the subroutine in which it's been declared. To give you an idea of the other type of variable, which is a global, if we declare a global variable here, and we define a little variable called greeting. We'll see greeting is hi there. Okay, if I tell it to print greeting up here, okay, Greeting is a global variable because it's been declared outside any subroutine. So if I just quickly rerun that program now, you'll see that it knows because it, it can, it's able to access the value of greeting because it's a global variable. But val1 and val2 are local. So to be able to access them here, what we're going to do is we're going to need to pass them out of this subroutine. So we use a new command which is called return and we return variables called val1 and val2. Now you can imagine returning as um, throwing the values back out of that subroutine. Now we're throwing them out of here, we're returning them, but it means we've got to assign them when we get to here. So what I'm going to do is have two, num two variables called here called number one and number two. And we're going to say the equal the value returned from get input. Python only has access to what we call functions, and functions return values that can be assigned to another um, variable. So the order is important. So val1 gets returned first, so that gets put in number one. Val2 gets returned second, so that gets put in number two. Now these are called, so this is our first kind of element of parameter passing here. So, but to add, 
that to add the numbers, we have to give val1 and val2 some bits of information. We've got to give it some parameters. And we've got to give it whatever we want it to use for this thing called val1 and val2. Now when we returned them from the program, we stored them on a variable called number1 and number2. So what we need to do is we need to pass these in. So these are called parameters. Now these are the actual parameters there that we are going to pass in to this subroutine. Now you've used parameters before. If you've used the random function or the length function, you you passed in parameters for the low val the low random value, the high random value. You said you wanted the length of a string or the length of an array. So you have used parameters before. So we pass in number one and number two, which means we've got to adapt our little subroutine definition up here and say, well, you're going to get two parameters and inside the function, we're going to call them val1 and val2. Now, these are what they call the formal parameters. This is what the subroutine is going to refer to them as inside itself. So these are the actual parameters and these are the formal parameters because there would be nothing stopping us running that program again and putting in, say we had two other variables called number three and number four. We couldn't always match those because remember, you may not know that. Uh, for example, when you use the random number function, you didn't know the what the, the internal variables were called and that's fine. Now, we've passed those in because now we're not going to pass them out again because they're not going to be changed, but we do need to pass out answer. So, because at the minute answer is a local variable, so we will return the variable called answer. And just like we did before, we will need to grab it out of the subroutine. So we pass in number one and number two, but we only pass out result. That means any changes we make to val1 and val2 there or would would have been discarded and that's perfectly fine. Now last but not least, the display. Now you can imagine display as a subroutine because it actually it isn't going to change any values, but it does need some information passed in. So you can think about passing parameters in as giving it the piece of information to do its job. So if I pass in our variable called result, I can say that this is going to have a value. And the answer is value. Right. So if we run this program, let's see how we get on with that. So three and four, and the answer is seven. So let's look at our code here. Greeting is a global variable because it's been declared outside of any subroutine. And that means it can be accessed by all of the pro, pro program code. Okay. Um, val1 and val2 and answer they are all local variables they only exist in the subroutine in which they are declared val1 and val2 are being passed out of the get input function and they're being assigned to the variables number one and number two which again are local variables they only exist in this little main subroutine now result has got both going on result we have passed in number one uh, sorry add numbers we have passed in number one and number two to the add numbers um, sub fun function. Those are the actual parameters and those are the formal parameters. And then we have created a new variable called answer, did a calculation and returned it. And then we've assigned it to this variable called result. Display is almost a subroutine because it doesn't um, change any values, but we are passing in the, the, the parameter called result as an actual parameter, which its formal parameters refer to as value inside the subroutine, and that just prints the answer. And that is how we do sub uh, parameter passing in Python. So another thing to note, it's your last subroutine has always got is always going to be your main function, and your very last line of code is just going to be to call your main function. When you call a subroutine or a function, that actually executes it.